video reminding you that AVR automatic voltage regulation is a must in Ghana okay automatic voltage regulation is a must in Ghana so let's get straight into it Hi guys, welcome to Asher and Gad channel, making Africa home again, one family at a time. Trust you all doing well, making gradual plans to uh, make your dreams become a reality in the lovely continent that is Africa. Um, today is another Tuesday, 6 p.m. GMT on the Asher and Gad channel. And uh, before I go any further, as usual, I'd like to express my gratitude and my thanks to our PayPal and Patreon families respectively and all our youtube subscribers for all your comments donations etc etc love for the love uh, and we appreciate you all okay today i'm bringing you a very brief video a very very brief video really it's a video a topic i've touched on before but um you know when you get customers clients complaining uh, com complaining about you over the same thing in a in, in a short space of time then you, you sort of it's a reminder to remind people out there who are building in Ghana or who, who own homes in Ghana or want to build the importance of this particular topic. The importance of this particular topic and of this particular aspect in your home. Okay, so today's video is a brief video reminding you that AVR, automatic voltage regulation, is a must in Ghana. Okay, automatic voltage regulation is a must in Ghana. So let's get straight into it. Okay. So, you know, um, had a couple of clients that we've been working with recently. One in particular who's had some, a lot of issues. He um, doesn't live here. So he relies on his CCTV system to, you know, check his house to just make sure everything is, everything is okay, secure, etc. cetera. Um, and all of a sudden the CCTV stopped working. So he, he came down and, and he realized, it, you know, because the, the power... Is frequently going off and on and there's a lot of voltage fluctuation in his area uh, and over, over the over the last year he's he's lost his fridge his freezer and i think i think microwave as well he had to replace all these items and now his cctv system which is the most critical for him and his family from a security point of view is now no longer working it's no longer working and that is all because of the in his area the extent of the ECG voltage fluctuations are great. Yeah, the ECG voltage fluctuations is just mad. It's just mad. So it's really damaging all his equipment. Okay, and there's another client in a different area had a, having a similar issue. Okay, so obviously they, they came to Asher and Gad asking what they can do. Uh, what, uh, you know, they, they told me the size of their home, what they have in their home, air conditioning, etc etc and then we worked with them me and my my team worked with them to advise them what avr they need to purchase and where they can get it from a reliable source in ghana as well so they've got the avr our team has helped them install it and you know things are looking a bit better now a bit early days but obviously um it should it should it should clear it over time the avr is what you need if you are building in ghana or you have a home in ghana you need AVR for me is a must. Automatic voltage regulation is a must. Let me remind people again what it does. I've said this before, but if you haven't watched my previous videos or you're a new subscriber, let me click up here. There's a video where I've talked about site update and AVR operation. Click up here and watch our video. What does the AVR do? The AVR essentially it just protects your appliances, your electronic, your, your electrical appliances. All your appliances it protects it from the frequent electrical voltage fluctuations from ecg up down up down to keep it in the operating range of your equipment okay which is typically uh, 220 volts you know plus plus or minus 10 percent let's say okay keeping it within that range so that when it fluctuates above that and below that okay because of the ec the way the ecg have connected the the, the area it brings it into range and protects your items very 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 important okay and unless you keep on buying stuff it's gonna be very 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 frustrating especially when you buy uh, items that maybe 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 are not the right quality a little bit inferior they're they're going to 
they're going to even suffer more from you know from p poor power quality okay so it's a must now i've heard some clients who said oh they've got they've got avr therefore they don't need an spd an spd is different and again i've said that before i'll point you in another that of another video click up here <clears throat> I did a video explaining the difference between AVR and SPD. Click up here. You need both. AVR is to protect your appliances from the frequent voltage fluctuations up and down in the normal operation of ECG, in the normal power to your home and your surrounding areas. SPD is a surge protective device. When there's a lightning strike, in your area, okay, an indirect lightning strike, lightning that's striking near your area, that, that there's a force of lightning that can induce, that induces, uh, if you like, a surge of current through the cables that can come into your home and it's very, very quick. We call it a transient over voltage. Very, 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 very quick. That can come in very quickly. The AVR doesn't see it because it's so quick. That can damage your computers and damage stuff. So you need the SPD, which can trap that very fast over voltage and over current and trap it to earth, okay? That's what the SPD does. So you need both AVR for the normal operation and SPD for indirect lightning strikes. Okay, so guys, yeah, so that, that's the AVR and SPD. A, a reminder, there are various brands in Ghana. Okay, um, you, you can get a, um, I've seen a, Sch a Schneider SPD in terms of the AVR, uh, let me see, Evensis, you know, Orion, a, a number of different uh, brands which are all, all, all quite good. If you need any of these products, Contact Asher and Gad on the on the number in the advert that is about to follow, okay, and, and then we'll point you in the right direction where you can get a, a, a quality product, either of these, okay. But I'm gonna let, let's talk about the prices of these items, typical prices, uh, just right after this break. So see you soon. Are you looking to build your dream home in Ghana, or are you building already? Would you benefit from regular site visits to monitor your building and receive regular progress reports? Well, if that's the case, and that's you, look no further, Asher and Gag Consultancy at your service. We offer the following services, electrical design, construction monitoring inspections, site progress reports, consultation for all items MEP, witnessing of testing and commissioning, periodic snagging, vetting of specialist subcontractors. We also report site activities to you to hopefully help you spend your money efficiently and much, much more. Get in contact for your building needs. Details on the screen, Asher and Gag Consultancy. Make in Africa home again, one family at a time. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, welcome back. I just want to just just to round off this video to give you some typical prices of the AVR for those of you who are, who are interested in this advice. Um, automatic voltage regulate regulators. Uh, contact us. Tell us know how big your house is. We can advise you what size to get. But typically, uh, so some of the suppliers we know. A three, for example, a three-phase 30 kVA AVR is about 17,500 Ghana cities. Price in dollars on your screen. A single-phase 20 kVA AVR is about 8,500 Ghana cities. Okay, again, price in dollars and pounds on your screen. It's funny enough, we, our home, we purchased our AVR, and I think it was in 2022. That was a, that was a 20 kVA single-phase, and that was... That was about six thousand Ghana cities, between six or six and a half thousand Ghana cities. I can't remember. So it's gone up by about two thousand Ghana cities in the last two years. Okay, twenty kVA three phase AVR is about fourteen thousand five hundred Ghana cities. Okay, all right. Um, a hundred kVA three phase AVR, which unless <laughs> which no house really needs, unless it's a, a significant mansion or, or a number of mansions on the same development, you don't, you don't really need it. But anyway, just for for, 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 for the sake of it, 100 kVA, three phase AVA, looking about 55,000 Ghana cities, okay? In terms of the SPDs, they're much cheaper. So, won't break the bank, but it will save you, can save you in the long run for in, from indirect lightning strikes, okay? Single phase SPD is about between 200 and 300 Ghana cities. Single phase SPD between 200 and 300 Ghana cities. A three phase SPD is between 600 and 700 Ghana cities. Okay, I'm showing you pictures on your screen of the typical brands of AVR that some of some of my clients have purchased and it's working well for them. Uh, Invensys uh, has been a pretty good brand. You want to get a, a digital one that's got a digital screen if if you can, uh, but if not, that's fine. Uh, Orion is a very good brand as well. Um, uh, Su Suzuka is another brand I've seen 
and Ghana, the one we have is, is, is quite good. Uh, and again, in the previous video, I said to, uh, to, to I clicked on the, I click on the link. Uh, you know, it's, um, I showed the operation of our AV and it's very, very good. Really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, so all I'll say is to conclude, if you are building in Ghana, living in Ghana, AVR, automatic voltage regulation is a must. It is a must. There are three things that are a must if you want a quality electrical installation. Three components, AVR, SPD and RCD, which I've talked about many times on this channel. All right, so I, I guess that's it guys. Um, one, one thing before I go, Asher and Gat Consultancy is not just Kingsley. At the moment, we have about seven top quality people in our team. Electrical, plumbing, you know, uh, painting, POP guys, you know, tilers, what, 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 what have you. So if you're looking at any of these quality artists, and just drop, drop me a line, drop me a text, give us a call, and we'll point you in the right direction. Okay, so it's not only me, even I'm the face of the videos. You know, these guys, I've been working with them for about three years now. They're all well trained in our ways especially the electrical and plumbing guys. So, you know, you're in safe hands. You're in safe hands. Whether you see me or not, you're in safe hands. Obviously, we're very busy. I can't be on every single side every single time. But as long as it's my team, uh, then, then you're in safe hands. All right? So, guys, um, thanks for watching this video yet again. Uh, as usual, please like, share, and subscribe, okay, to Asher and Gat channel. So you always be aware when we upload a new and useful educational video for your viewing pleasure. All right? So as usual, from God is Chemistia, and for me, guys, Yebeshia. See you next time.